Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. Give double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahabla, Baki, Yashai, Yashurala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson. Baha'u Rakhakwada, Shah Amaf, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the topic of this video uh, is pretty much going in on how Satan desires to sift you. All right? We're at war with Satan, just like Job. All right? In the beginning of Job, uh, the Lord asked Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job? All right? Well, the same thing, the same conversation happened in the heavens, proverbially speaking. All right? Our name came up and Satan is on our ass now. Satan, Satan is trying to tempt us. Satan is trying to sift us, trying to get us out this truth, trying to see how far we will go until we will break, trying to see how much faith we really have. So what does he do? He used the same tactics as he did with Job. All right. He'll try to attack us through uh, uh, through our children, all right, through uh, our health, through our substance. Um, he'll try to attack us through our women, through people around us. All right. So on and so forth. <clears throat> and we see that uh, uh, the battle intensifying in the times that we're living in now because we're getting closer to the end. And also the Passover is right around the corner. All right. Hey, Satan entered into Judah, into Judas right around the Passover. All right. So we see these different wayward doctrines coming out because Satan is, is, is working through these people. All right. And he's trying to sift out the Lord's true servants, the Lord's true men. So without further ado. Right, I'm going to start off with um, the book of Ephesians. Is it Ephesians of Peter's? I don't have nothing um, planned out. But uh, we're going to flow through the spirit. This Ephesians. I'll start with this. He, uh, this is 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. It says, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may seeking whom he may devour. Our adversary, our opponent, all right, the one that's against us, trying to really, really Satan is, is is trying to prove our faith to the Lord, all right. And how is he trying to do that? By trying to break us, all right. He's trying to prove that he loves the Lord more than us. He's trying to prove that we only love the Lord because shit is going sweet. All right. So we're going to see things that, just like with Job. All right. The, the name Job means hated or persecuted. Job was persecuted by who? By Satan. All right. You can read about his persecution in the first two ver in the first two chapters and his persecution continued. His friends was trying to call him evil. His friends was trying to call him wicked. All right. And that's why he got these scoffers on the common board all right, or making videos from these other camps saying that we're this and we're that bearing false witness. That's all Satan, man. That's all that is. And all we got to do is continue to keep our integrity, continue to focus on Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. And if we do so, Satan's not going to get the victory over us. Really, if we're of Yahweh Shai, we already gotten the victory. We can't lose. All right. The W is already ours. So let's read that again. Uh, actually, I'm going to start up. This is 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 6. It says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time. We got to stay humble. We got to stay meek. And if we stay humble and we stay, and we stay meek, we'll inherit the earth. As the scriptures say in the book of Matthew, the meek shall inherit the earth. That's when we get exalted. All right. When Yahweh Shai makes his return, it says, suffer with him now when we glorify with him when he makes his return. Roughly paraphrasing. Verse 7, it says, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. Anything that you're going through, all right, anything that's fucking with you, okay, just cast your, just cast your care upon Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Why? Because he cares for us. In the book of, uh, I think it's First Thessalonians, it says, "Be careful for nothing, all right." But in all things, pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Roughly paraphrasing, I might be mixing two scriptures up, but I know in Thessalonians, either first or second, it says, "Be careful for nothing." I mean, don't be full of care. Of course, in this flesh, in this, in this world, you stress out over things, you worry over things, but. That's why you revert back to this scripture in 1 Peter 5 and 7. Casting all your care upon him. Anything that you're worried about, it's outside of your hands anyway. All right. Sometimes you're going to get caught up in a moment. You're going to get caught up in the flesh. But you got to check yourself and you got to revert back to the scriptures. And just any any problems, anything that you're going, going through, put it in the prayer. Send it to the heavens. All right. And, and, and it's out your hands. 
let the Lord work. Okay. Bear with me real fast. It says, uh, verse 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So he's seeking whom he can devour, whom he can get, whom he can catch slipping. All right. Verse 9, it says, whom resist steadfast in the faith. In the book of James, it says, resist the devil and he shall flee from you. How do you resist the devil? By using your faith. All right. Revert and back. Use your tools. Use the tools that you have. All right. Go back to the scriptures. That's how Yahweh Shai fought Satan. All right. In Matthew's the fourth chapter. He fought Satan by what? Reverting back to the scriptures. I right? use the brotherhood. Okay. It says in the book of Ecclesiastes that a uh, 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 two is a uh, two four a uh, two four um a three four cord is not easily broken. All right. Let me grab that. In Hebrews it says, "Forsake not the assembling of yourselves, man." Now that we see the day approaching. So that's one of our tools to combat st Satan, to stay in the spirit. All right. Um, this is the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 5 and verse 9. It says, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fail, the one will lift up himself. For, it's like it, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow but woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he have not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And a threefold core is not quickly broken. Is not quickly broken. So getting with the Akium, all right, being around brothers, okay, it's harder for Satan to fuck with you. Fasting, all right. Uh, the disciples had a problem of casting out demons out of somebody, and they asked the Lord, why, why couldn't we cast the demons out? The Lord said, well, some of these uh, 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 demons don't come out by fasting and praying. So these are the different tools that we must use to combat Satan. These are the different tools that we uh, uh, um, must use to resist the devil, and he's going to flee from us. But guess what? He's going to come back. He kept coming back to Yahweh Shai. How much more us? It says the servant is not greater than his Lord. All right. The servant is not greater than his, than his Lord. So the same things Yahweh Shai went through is the same type of persecution we are going to have to go through. All right. In Matthew's the fourth chapter, when the Lord was uh, uh, fasting, Satan came to him and he kept coming to him. Satan kept hopping on Peter. Satan was hopping on Peter multiple times. All right. Satan hopped on Judas. OK. Satan tried to use the Lord's flesh against him. And in the end. Through extrapolation, the Lord said, what? He's, he was getting weak. His flesh was getting weak. Well, Satan works through the flesh. All right. So let's continue to read on. It says, First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8, it says, Be, uh, it's like in verse 9, it says, Whom resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Right. So um, through the spirit across the map, uh, Jake is catching hell. You know, brothers, that's. In this truth, brothers that's rehearsing, rehearsing the righteous acts, striving for this truth, all right, um, it, it, it's going through it, all right? It's the same afflictions is accomplished in our brethren. We are going through it. Why? Because it's that time of the year. And, and, and it's going to continue to be like that, man. It, it's, it's, it's a, uh, the, this truth is like, um, up, it's, it's, it's like a roller coaster, man. It has its ups and it has its downs, Okay. And that's why Paul said, "I know how to be a, I know how to be a base, and I know how to abound. You got to know what you got to do uh, 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 when you're being under attack, spiritual attack. All right. And we just mentioned some of those things: praying, fasting, getting with the Akim. All right. Staying in your scriptures. Continue to do the work. Continue to watch. All right. So on and so forth. Verse nine. It says. It's like a verse uh, ten. It says, "But the power of all grace, who have called." Us unto his eternal glory by Mashiach Yahweh Shai. After that, ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. So you go through some stuff, and, and it what? It strengthens you, right? Verse 11, it says, To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. So I want to go from there to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 22 and 31. It says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to, to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. 
So Satan, what desire? Let's go into that word desire. All right, just like with Zo just like with Job, the Lord said, "Has thou considered my servant Job?" All right, he was speaking to Job in that aspect, and here the Lord was speaking to Peter. But it applies to us. Satan has considered us. Satan desires us. He already got little Wayne. All right, he already got little Uzi and all the these other fucking niggas, man, with dreads. All right. And, and all the other people that's bugged out of their fucking mind, man. He wants us. He wants the servants of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh He's greedy, okay? He desires us. He's considered us. So let's go into that word desire. Strong's G, 1809. Exiteo. 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 To ask from. Demand of. To ask or beg for oneself. So this is how bad he wants to get us. And that's why we go through certain things. It says to ask that one be given up to one from the power of another. We're in the power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai's hand. And it says to ask. All right. Satan is asking the Lord. Okay. Even in the conversation with Satan and the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the book of Job, the, the Heavenly Father brought up Job. All right. And there were stipulations when it came to persecuting Job. The Lord said, okay, you can do this, that, and the third, but don't do this. You can do this, that, and the third, but don't take his life. Right? So there's stipulations when it comes to Satan fucking with us. He he, he can't, like the Lord said to uh, Pilate, the only thing you can do to me is if the power has been given onto you from heaven. Satan, Satan can only do what he's allowed to do, what the Lord lets him. And whatever the Lord lets him, he knows that we have strength to prevail over Satan, our adversary. Um, uh, it says in a bad sense for torture or punishment. All right. So that's, that's, that's his goal. But the real, the real word I wanted to get was sift. Okay. It says, and the Lord says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan have desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. So when you go into that word, sift is the Greek word. Strong's G 4617. Seniazo. Seniazo. Siniazo, right? It means to sift, shake in a sieve, uh, figuratively, by inward agitation to try one's faith to the verge of overthrow. So you be going through different things inward, all right? In your mind, you'll be going through different trials and different tribulations and different wicked thoughts will even come into your heart, into your heart, into your mind. In the book of Jeremiah, it says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. All right. A lot of times it's your flesh and it's um and it's Satan trying to work on your mind. OK, trying to sift you. Sift means what? Inward agitation to try your faith. All right. So the things that we going through is all a trial of our faith. In the book of Sirach, the second chapter, it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. Prepare yourself to be tried. All right, it says, Gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Okay, so we're going to go through different temptations, different trials, different adversity. To prove our faith to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, it'll get to the point of overthrow, the verge of overthrow. Now, if any brothers watch the, uh, the uh, anim anime show Dragon Ball Z, uh, it was a group of sands, right? And these sands, which was like a nationality in the show, these sands, if they would get, uh, it, when they would battle, when they would go to battle, if they were on the brink of death and, and they was pushed to their limits, when they would heal up, they would, their power would, um, their their power would increase exponentially. All right, so it's the same with us. We go through these different things, but when we brought out of it, all right, we're 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 increased exponentially in our spiritual strength. Our faith is increased, all right, and so on and so forth. It says that no chastisement for this present time is, is joyful, but at the end, it, it, it worketh the peaceable fruit, all right, roughly paraphrasing. So now I just want to go through a couple examples of uh, men of the Lord being tested by Satan. And we are men of the Lord. We're the servants of Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. And if we endure unto the end, that will make us other elect. So we're going to have to go through the same things that these men, these men went through. I already mentioned Yahweh Shai, all right? He was, te he was tested and tempted by Satan. All right, this is 1 Chronicles chapter 21 and verse 1. It says, And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. So Satan was desired to sift David, all right? Satan 
was battling with David, man. This is the king. We're supposed to be the house of David. We're going to go through to like it. We're going to go through the same thing. All right. This is um Matthew's Matthew chapter 16 and verse 23. It says, but he turned and said unto Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. So he was talking to Peter, but it was Satan that was on Peter. All right. And this is this was not only uh, uh, Satan on Peter, but really it was Satan trying to fuck with the Lord using Peter, just like in the book of Job. All right. When Job's woman said, curse the most high and die. Well, that was Satan's whole plan. Satan's whole plan was to get Job to curse the most high. So was that Job's woman or was that Satan that was on Job's woman? Right. It says, but he turned and said unto Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of Yahweh, but those that be of men. All right. Right. So so that, that that those that be of men. So Satan will try to get you like that. Your flesh. All right. Carnal shit. But that's why we have to revert back to the scripture. Satan, you got these uh, you got Captain Tazariak. Uh, and ISUPK talking about the the uh, marriageable woman of an age uh, is like 17 or 18 or whatever he said, and um, and, and he pretty much calling us sexual deviants and, and and bearing false witness on us. But that's of men, all right. According to the scriptures, a damsel can be as young as 12, all right, and a girl becomes a woman when she uh, uh, when she has her period, when she gets her menstrual cycle, when she passes the flower of her age. All right. That's that's according to the scripture. So that's why it's important to to say, fuck your feelings. Fuck what I'm thinking. Does it line up with the scriptures? Fuck what these people were saying about me and how they feel. And their opinion, because their opinion is vain. What does the scripture say? All right. How does Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai feel? What is his words? OK, so that's two examples. That, that's the example of Satan hopping on David, Satan hopping on Peter. All right. And that's why it goes back to that uh, first Peter chapter five and verse eight when uh, when. Uh, well, I just read it. This is first Peter chapter five and verse eight. And we just read Satan hopping on Peter. Right. And in that Luke 22, we read when the Lord said, Simon, Simon, uh, uh, Satan desires to sift you as wheat. Right. So this is why later on, Peter said this. This is through experience. When, when Peter said this, first Peter chapter five and verse eight, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. That's out of experience. He said that he said, be sober and be vigilant, be clear minded. All right. Don't get caught up in the affairs of this world. Don't get caught up in people's opinions. All right. A lot of people will get on video, all right, and just talk, 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 talk. And don't go to no scriptures. Well, that's all opinion. That's all vain. We don't want to hear none of that, all right? We want to hear the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh We want to hear what's written in the scriptures, all right? That's how you be sober and that's how you be vigilant. So let's go from there to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 11. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The wiles is what? The trickery, all right? The trickery. The slick, subtle tactics of the devil. And some of his tactics, you can read about him in um in Job. All right. How he was trying to make Job lose his faith. How he, how he was trying to make Job turn against Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says, put on the whole armor. The whole armor is the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. Put on the whole armor. Eat the whole roll. Right. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principa principalities, against powers, and against rulers of and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. There's a spiritual battle, all right. So we must bring out our spiritual weapons. We must put on our spiritual armor. Let's see what that is. It says. Verse 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that ye, that, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, that ye may be able to withstand, all right, the fiery darts, that ye may be able to stand the persecution, the affliction, the adversity, and through much adversity, through much affliction shall we enter into the kingdom. So we got to make sure we got our armor on. 
It says, verse 14, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. So this truth is our defense. This truth is our shield and our bucklet. The name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is a strong tower of defense. This is how we're going to fight off these evil spirits. Okay. It says, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all. Taking the shield of faith, our faith. All right, so we must pray to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for more faith because that's the only way you can get faith. In Ephesians, it says faith is a gift, not of yourselves, but is of a, a, a but is a gift of the Most High. By grace are you saved through faith. Roughly paraphrasing Ephesians, the second chapter, the eighth verse. It says, uh, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. All right, through our faith. Okay, and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and the gospel and this truth. It don't matter what Satan throw at us. We'll quench all the fiery darts. Verse 17, it says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This word is our offense and our defense. Verse 18, it says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Another way to combat Satan. Praying always. All right. It says, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. All right, so Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Akakwadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Akakwadash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. Give double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Labaki, Yashar, Yashar, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Maki, and brothers, keep on. On pushing, stay sober, stay vigilant, all right. Uh, put on the whole armor so that we can continue to beat this devil's ass spiritually, all right. Um, salvation draweth nigh and redemption nearer than when we believe. Shalom.